Many of you probably know that we moved a few months ago from Minneapolis down to Phoenix, Arizona, which is where I am now and where we're currently living, at least for the time being. And just this last weekend, we ended up going back to Minneapolis for a friend's wedding. The weather was beautiful. It was amazing. Quite a contrast to the weather we've been having here in Phoenix. It's like 110 degrees Fahrenheit most days, which makes outdoor time pretty difficult. We like being outside, especially taking Rocky for walks and things like that, but it makes it hard when it's just so hot. So during this particular visit to Minneapolis, we were really enjoying the weather. We decided to go get a bite to eat at our favorite cafe in our old neighborhood. And the weather was so amazing there that we decided to take a nice long walk. And of course, we started walking down towards our old house. Now, this house represented a lot of firsts for us. It was the first house that Amy and I bought together. It was where we built the early stages of our marriage. It was where we brought home our little tiny four pound dog, Rocky, on a cold January night. All of those things were really wonderful memories and this house was really special to us. We owned it for about six years. And so as we were walking towards it, I was thinking about all of those things that I had associated with this house. I knew that there would be things that I would miss about it. I knew that I would miss seeing Rocky running around in the backyard because we had a nice fenced in backyard that he could enjoy. I knew that I would miss having garage space to do woodworking projects and different things. And I knew that I would just miss the comfort of having an affordable, comfortable little home in the city with lots of cafes within walking distance and just wonderful neighbors and that kind of thing. But as we were walking down, we get in front of the house and I look at it, I definitely start to feel some of those feelings. Maybe the feeling of loss or like I had lost something because we did sell it. I knew that when we drove away from that house for the very first time, after packing up all of our stuff into a moving truck and leaving, that we'd likely never be in that house ever again. But the reality of that situation had sunk in and I was standing there in front of the house. Rocky was pulling up on the lawn because it's clear that he recognized the house. And then we made our way just continuing down. And we ended up sitting at a park another block or two down from the house. After sitting there for a while, Amy asked me, what do you miss about the house? And as I mentioned earlier, there were definitely things that I knew I was going to miss. Some of the things that were possible at that house. But after all is said and done, the memories we made in that house and the different things we did and built, like Break the Twitch was started in that house. All of these things really came with us when we left. Probably the biggest thing that I missed about having our old house was just having it, having access to it and owning it, which I think is reflective of a lot of the cultural norms that we feel around a pride in ownership. We tend to find ways to define ourselves with the things that we own, our homes, our cars, our clothing, the different things in our lives. And in a way, we associate those things with our self-worth, our identities, and more. And to a certain extent, that's fine, that's okay. But at the same time, that approach is somewhat flawed. Because when we acquire things, a lot of the time, the reason we do that is to allow us to do something with it. To allow us to do something with our lives that we want. At least, that should be the idea. When we buy a camera, that camera should allow us to take photos, take videos, improve our skill as we use the camera more and more and more. And then eventually, one day, our skills might outpace the capabilities of that camera and we'll be ready for something new and different. So instead of viewing the things we acquire in our lives as this fortress that we slowly build up around us, 
bigger and bigger and more and more, perhaps we can benefit from a change of perspective. More like the idea of swinging through vines in a jungle. Each thing in our life, whether it's a camera or a computer or a house or a car, is simply a vine that we're swinging on that helps carry us to the next. Just about everything in life is impermanent. Nothing is totally, totally forever. And so it's increasingly important for us to look at the things around us and see them as vines that carry us to the next one, which will take us further and further along the path, wherever it is that you want to go. And in that way, they're increasingly impermanent. They serve a purpose, but sometimes letting go of the vine we're on is the only way to reach out and grab the next one that will take us further and closer to where we want to be. So that's how I was feeling about this house. Sure, I would have liked to keep it, but at the same time, we were ready to leave Minneapolis for a while and explore some other places to enter the next phase of our life. And to be completely frank, we couldn't afford to leave a completely empty house sitting there in Minneapolis and pay for snow removal half the year. And so we either had to rent it out or sell it. And in the end, we chose to just let go and sell it. And in so many ways, that house was a vine that let us swing through a phase of life that really was substantial and important for us. And the cool thing now is that someone else gets to use that house as their own vine during this particular Midwest phase of their life. So I felt pretty settled because that house served us well for the time that we had it. But it didn't necessarily serve what we saw our life to be going forward. And so we made a change. It was an incredibly big ordeal and it's a big step that lots and lots and lots of little steps over the years culminated to. But I will say that this shift in philosophy really does allow you to see things in your life differently, as more impermanent, as perhaps something that's helping carry you from here to wherever it is you're going. And it really helps make some decisions around what are the things that are going to help you get to that next step as well. Because if it's not, perhaps it's something you can let go of. 